guys, this is Dan from Primal RC. Today I'm going to be installing the new brushless system for the Raminator truck. Uh, it's designed by Chris Fine from Fine Design. Includes a 500 kV motor. It's got a big 10 millimeter shaft. It uses the original clutch system and a special CNC clutch mount, uh, motor mount. It also has a whole water cooling system, a little tank to hold the water, pump to circulate the water. It also has a water-cooled ESC, 130 amp hobby wing. It's good for up to five to 12 S. Uh, even six S on this truck will, will move it way faster than the original gas motor. And eight S is really fun, but 10 or 12 is just ridiculous. There's also a whole radiator system. So you got your fan, the water's gonna go through there, get cooled off by the fan, get circulated back through the ESC, through the motor. It also has a, its own battery that you just plug in when you want that fan to run. So you don't have to tap it into anything else. Um, your original electronics are going to use your stock battery, or you could switch that to like a 2S LiPo. So all your electronics are going to run off your normal system, your servos and your receiver. The batteries for the motor are going to come, you're going to put them on this plate. They're only going to be used to do the motor, nothing else. And all together, the system works really well, but I'm going to install it and show you how it goes in. All right, so this is how it looks like when it's all installed. The motor that comes already on this uh, with the plate on it just mounts in with the four bolts that you took uh, the engine out to mount on. The ESC mounts with one bolt right down there to the cross brace on its already included mount. The water pump does the same thing on the same mount as the ESC mount. One bolt down there holds that on. The um, storage tank also. One bolt, you just unscrew the, the nut that's already on the frame, a cross member nut, and then uh, use it to mount that tank onto there. The fan for the cooling system, the radiator, is it right in the battery? It already comes on this big mount. It just mounts on top of here with two screws that are all included in the kit. All this stuff comes together already in the kit. And then when you go to run it, you just want to connect this battery together. And that's going to cool the fan, put the fan on and let it cool the water. And the whole thing, all the hoses go together. There's all pictures in the manual on how this goes together and step-by-step -step instructions. Real simple. You know, once the, once the engine's out, you know, you take your engine out, you take the little on off switch for the the kill switch of the engine you can remove that um, i also removed the servo for the throttle for the throttle servo you don't need that anymore so you just remove all that stuff obviously the pipe that's attached to the engine remove that and that makes that's half the job and then putting in this was actually a breeze you know everything just mounts on real easy chris fine from fine design made it made it really easy assembled as much as possible first for you you preset the esc is all preset to have no break, you know, no reverse because you still use the reverse function that the, that the Primal Monster truck has to go in reverse. So from the transmitter, you hit channel four, this little toggle switch, which is right here. You pull that all the way down. That's to let it go in reverse. So, and you, also your brake. So this is still forward gas, like make it go forward. And then braking is this way. And that's still gonna use the mechanical brakes of the truck. It's not going to use the motor to brake the truck like a lot of uh, electric cars use the motor to, to stop the vehicle. This The motor is just going to stop and you're going to use your mechanical brakes to stop the vehicle. So there's no loads on this motor except for just normal acceleration. And because of the clutch design, it's a very smooth engagement and very easy on the motor. So this motor really should last forever pretty much on this truck, especially with the water cooling system. Um, right now I have it hooked up with two 4S batteries. 8,000 milliamp, 60 C. These are 100 C's, but 60 C is all you need. Uh, they're hooked up in uh, series to get 8 S to make the truck go probably 30 something miles an hour. Um, I haven't tested it yet. I'm gonna do a running video soon for it, but that's all hooked up, it's all working. I'll show you a little bit of uh, acceleration just uh, on the table here. Okay, so I just turned it on. I connected the batteries together, turned the controller on, turned the switch on the back on. That's going to 
put your all your servos going and everything. And also this battery back here, it also powers the little pump for the water. That's what you're hearing right now. And I just plugged in the fan for the cooling. That's a nice quiet motor. The water pump does seem to make a noise you can hear. Um, now if I give it a little gas, you'll hear the motor spool up. You can hear that. It's just spooling up a tiny bit. And then as it engages, I start to grab the wheels, clutch is engaging. That's it. Just touching the gas a little bit here. I give it a lot, these wheels are probably something good. That's how it sucks. Mechanical. That's it. I'll have a running video of it soon.